Good afternoon, guys. I want to make a little cooking video here. I um, hope this works. Still trying to figure out a best way to do this. I'm going to make a salad and I'm going to make a um, homemade avocado dressing. Okay, so let's hope that this is all going to work and that this bone is going to stay up where it's at. <laughs> um, so um, I just cut up some some um, green leaf lettuce if you can see here and and some romaine I'm gonna cut up some zucchini okay zucchini is very good for you all these fresh vegetables it's uh, and raw it's something that's very important for people to put in their bodies I know that a while back I uh, fell for the carnivorous line that they try to claim that veggies were bad for you. And, you know, when we're trying to justify our behavior, we'll say anything, you know. Um, but if you really do more research and, uh, and see what the truth of the matter is, you find out that it's all... So, cut up that zucchini there. Then I'm going to take this orange. And I'm going to cut the orange. Yeah, there's so many different types of wrong information out there. And we have to be ever so careful. And I should have known better because I, you know, I've been plant-based for years. And all the plant-based has done for me is help me. It's never hurt me in any which way, form or fashion, but whenever I've gone into eating animal flesh, I get myself into trouble. So, no more getting myself into trouble. No, none of that. These uh, oranges were in the special section where they cut off the price. So they're kind of a little, little gone, you know. But they still work. Still work very well. If I hear the sound of the fan in the back, I shut off the AC because it's it's a loud, loud AC. Very loud. So These are like, um, almost like that blood orange, which I love because they're very flavorful, very meaty, extremely meaty. And juicy, very, very meaty and juicy, so they're... I stopped having tomatoes because they um, they do a thing because they're so acidic. And I'm really starting to learn <clears throat> what really agrees. Pardon me. What I what agrees with my body and what doesn't. So. These are also on the special area and I. I think they're kind of dry, but no, actually they still have juice. Marinate some of that with that. And then we're gonna make that for the dressing cut up. The celery. Celery is very good for your bones. If you look at vegetables, and I might have said this before what the vegetable looks like. Like the cauliflower kind of looks like the brain, so it's good for your brain. Celery kind of looks like bones, so it's good for your bones. Also, if you're trying to eliminate salt, celery is a great, great thing for giving that little crunch and that sodium flavor. I love celery. I'll put celery and 
just about anything and everything. And you have some of these um, sprouts. And you always have to wash these because they, they develop bacteria if you don't. So make sure you rinse them and wash them well like that. And then just kind of live food. And if you can make your own, oh my gosh, even better. I used to. I might start to again. It's a lot of work though. A lot of work. It takes lots and lots and lots of work to do that. So, I always like to put fruit in my salad. A nice mixture of sweet and salty. So I cut these in, in halves. Instead of tomatoes, I like using grapes. And I will use sun dried tomato. of the sun is always very good for you. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of these, and these are already washed and they're organic, so I'm not going to bother with that. I love arugula. My favorite. My favorite. Okay. Right. So, The more you cook with color, the better. So I'm going to take some of these sun-dried here. It's trying to get pretty warm in here every time I turn off that AC. Oof, it gets hot. But if I turn that bad boy on, you ain't going to be able to hear anything I say. I'll cut these up. Smaller pieces. And then I just kind of spread them out. Also very meaty and tasty. Garlic. Get that out of the way so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll take a few of these. Luckily I have nobody to kiss, huh? Between the onions and the garlic, there's the onions. I don't want to take some of these carrots. like my hands full of stuff that's part of the ADHD that I have hypersensitivity so I take all this here and put it in there this little salad dressing I make it today and it'll last me for a few days that way I don't have to it's like a wok. I use it for salad dressing. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead because besides the dressing, I like some of it cut up. I'm gonna put the two cloves of garlic in there, and then I'm gonna cut up this 
other clove and just kind of put it in the dressing, I mean, in the salad. And then take half of this and the other half, put it in there. And I'm just gonna, because I like, like avocado on my dressing, on my salad, just the chunks. I'm gonna take this, lemon, and show color, take another piece of lemon. salt substitute and herbs and spices and things of that nature. Squeeze as much as you can out of that bad girl. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some of these carrots. i put it in there. some red onions. gives it flavor and spiciness, you know? And then, a little bit of this lemon juice. Mrs. Dash, right there. And it's gonna, and it's chipotle, or sun, Southwest chipotle, so it's gonna make it spicy. And then I'm gonna use some nutritional yeast. And put some on the salad as well. I love this stuff, full of B12. We're going to put some parsley. Again, I never measure anything. I just kind of like, um, let's do some sesti blend herb with garlic. Oh, we already have garlic in there. And what else? I'm going to add a little bit of honey. tablespoon just a little. I love the, the taste of coconut oil. I do a coconut oil pool every morning and I make a video about that. 
I want to take some of these sunflower seeds and what are those pepitas, the green ones, pumpkin seeds, and spread it on top of the salad like that. Take a little bit of homestyle pulp orange juice. Just a little bit more, I guess. There we go. Light bit to make it creamy. This uh, Chobani oat, zero sugar. I'm sure you guys have never seen guac made that way. Enough liquid in there, I think so. Okay, so let me put this other stuff away. It's important to be able to combine foods correctly and eat as much raw as you can so that your body is able to function correctly. The raw, the food, the more nutrients you give it. And at first it's a little hard because you gotta make your body used to eating that way. You're used to eating cooked and junk food and that really doesn't help anything. So, this is definitely not set up for the way that I would like it to, so I'm just gonna. Let's see how that, oh yeah, that's nice. Very nice. I wish I could give you all a taste. Nice though. Very, very, it's chunky. Oh, let's see here. I can, can I show you chunky? It's got everything in the kitchen sink in there. Very tasty. I don't even have to taste it to know that it is, because I mean, I've been eating my cooking for the longest time and I, I know how my food tastes. Mmm, very good. Extremely good. Yummy, yummy. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this lactose-free Go Veggie. 99 cents at the 99 cent store. Crazy stuff, huh? And I'm going to just sprinkle some of that on top. You know, one of my dreams, besides ministering on on a traveling van, is to actually be able to go with a traveling van and and get hired for a couple of days individually to teach people how to cook healthy and go through your cupboards and tell you what you need to get rid of and how to eat and stuff like that. Who knows what God has in store for me? You know, that's something that I totally. So I'm just gonna take some of this. And this is what this is looking like right now. So I'll take a couple of actually a little bit more. And 
and that has a little top where you could just put it away and I have salad dressing for a few days and what I'm gonna do I'm going to do is add some of these Mary Gone Crackers, Herb Crackers, gluten-free, organic, plant-based protein, and top that off with some of these. Kind of decorate it. It's all about the decoration. It's a serving size six. Six of these crackers has 140 calories. Three and three. There we go. Add a little bit more since. Some of these are broken. And then I usually like to add. This noise that you're hearing is my coffee. A little bit of the dates as well. This is not your ordinary salad. This is a, a, a party in your mouth. The mixture of flavors. No salt needed because you're using really good and sprinkle some of the coconut flakes organic from Wally Mart. And that's it, folks, right there. That is deliciosa. Deliciosa, deliciosa. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll be on at 4.30 for the show today. So I got to turn on my AC because it's uh, mucho calor, muy caliente. Anyway, guys, I love you, but remember to always love yourselves too. I have to take my wig off because it's so hot. But I'll put it back on for the show. I'm, you know, I'm trying to... Find, try to get some really big hoops and especially not for the summer because I don't think I'll be able to deal with those hot wigs in the summer 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 120 degree weather so trying to find the look I'm just playing around with my look and stuff love you guys but remember to always love yourselves too each other and our Abba bye bye <laughs>